Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to the episode 811 of Logo History. Today I'm going to talk about VTM, Tribune Broadcasting, GarageBand and the Vex Tracks. These are the people who requested today's logos. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about GarageBand. It is a Canadian animated television series created by Todd Kaufman and Mark Thornton for Teletoon in Canada and Cartoon Network in the United States. 2013 to 2015, there is the word GarageBand in red text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Avex Tracks. It is a record label owned by Japanese entertainment conglomerate Avex Incorporated. 1990 to 1992, there are the words of X and tracks in white text. 1992 to 1996, there is a black circle, and on it there is a white letter and on the right of the circle, there are the words of X and tracks in black text. Here is the icon, the word mark and an intro. nineteen ninety six to two thousand there is a black circle and on it there is a white letter and under the circle there are the words of x and tracks in black text here is an intro it extracts two thousand to twenty seventeen there are the words of x and tracks in blue text and on the right of them there is a blue shape and on it there is a letter in white text here is the print version and an intro 2017 to the present, there is a blue circle, and on it there is a letter and a black and white gradient. Here is a variant and an intro. AVEX. All right, now I'm gonna talk about VTM. It is the main commercial television station in Flanders and forms part of a network of channels owned by DPG Media. 1989 to 1993, there is the word VTM in blue 3D text, and on the letter M there are three lines one green, one yellow, and one red. Here is a bumper. VTM, kleurtje dag, met een knip oog en een glimlach. VTM kijkt voor je uit en brengt u weer. Nineteen ninety three to nineteen ninety six, the logo is brighter and the text isn't three D anymore. Here is a bumper. Nineteen ninety six to two thousand, the text is brighter. Here is a bumper. Two thousand to two thousand three, there is the word VTM in light blue text on a purple outline, and under it, there is a green, yellow, and pink line. Here is a bumper. Two thousand three to two thousand four, the logo is darker. Here is a bumper. Two thousand four to two thousand eight, there is an orange rounded rectangle, and on it there is the word VTM in white text. Here is a bumper. This VTM. Two thousand eight to twenty twelve, the font has changed and the rectangle is bigger. Here is a bumper. twenty twelve to twenty eighteen, there is the word VTM in orange text. Here is the HD version, the glossy version, the twenty-fifth anniversary version and a bumper. 
video. You believe that he 2018 to 2020, the text is now in black text. Here is the 30th anniversary version and a bumper. 2020 to the present, the text is now in orange text. Here is the HD version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Tribune Broadcasting. It was an American media company which operated as a subsidiary of Tribune Media, a media conglomerate based in Chicago, Illinois. 1924 to 1958, here we have the logo of the first Tribune Broadcasting's name, WGN Incorporated. There are the letters WG and N in black text. 1958 to 1964, there is a black ring, and inside it there are the words quality and integrity in black text, and between them there are two black shapes, and between them there are two black rings, and inside them, there are the words radio WGN and television in black text. 1964 to 1966, there are two black lines, and between them there are the letters WG and N in yellow text. 1966 to 1970, here we have the logo of the second Tribune Broadcasting's name, WGN Continental Broadcasting Company. The logo hasn't changed. 1970 to 1983, there is a black and white globe, and on it there is a white rectangle, and on it, there is the word WGN in black text. Here is a bumper. nineteen eighty three to nineteen ninety two they changed its name to tribune broadcasting there is a letter t made out of black lines and on the right of it there are the words tribune broadcasting and company in black text nineteen eighty four to nineteen eighty six there is a letter t made out of blue and white gradient lines and on the right of the letter there are the words tribune and broadcasting in white text here is a bumper nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty nine the letter t is brighter the words tribune and broadcasting are now on a black outline and now under them there is the word company in white text on a black outline here is an intro tribune entertainment 1989 to 1996, there is a letter T made out of blue lines and on the right of it, there is the word Tribune in golden text, and under it, there is the word Broadcasting in golden text. Here is an intro. 1996 to 2008, there are two blue glowing lines, and between them there are the words Tribune and Broadcasting in white text, and between them there is a red line. Here is a variant and an intro. 2007 to 2011, there is the word Tribune in blue glowing text, and on it, there are the words Tribune and Broadcasting in white text, and between them there is a red line. Here is a variant and an intro. 2011 to 2014, there is a picture of a building on top of a cloud, and under it, there are the words Tribune and Broadcasting in blue text, and under them, there are the words Copyright 2012 WGN and Television in blue text. Here is an intro. 2014 to 2019, there are two blue shapes representing a letter T and under them, there are the words Tribune and Broadcasting in blue and black text. Here is an intro. 2019. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 812 that is going to be about Sport TV, Hooters, Goodwill, La Fima's Bella, Texas Roadhouse and My Little Pony Tell Your Tale. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.